make it very clear that families are an absolute essential part of a successful school year with all students. And so when I say parents or families in this answer, I mean all adult caretakers, because we know that our children are being raised by grandma, grandpa, auntie, uncle, uh, those folks that we call fictive kin, those play aunties and play uncles. And what has to happen, and I think because of COVID, many practitioners have now realized this, is that we need to see families as full and equal partners in the education enterprise. In other words, we have to let families know right from the beginning of the school year, maybe even in the summer, that we see them as essential partners, that we see them as co-creators, co-decision makers. And in many cases, what we found this year, they became co-teachers because education did not happen this past year without our family members. And so we wanna continue that partnership. We did a uh, wonderful survey here in Massachusetts, Mass Inc. did a survey where they asked families about returning to school in the fall. And one of the things that they heard from families was that families really very much appreciated the relationship that was developed between home and school during COVID because that relationship centered on teaching and learning. It wasn't focused on discipline. It wasn't focused on rules and regulations. This is where families and educators came together and had frequent conversations about what should the child know and be able to do and what are some of the things that we could be doing but add to what we were doing in school. And so I just think that it's gonna be really key for our educators and our practitioners to let families know early and often how much they value them, how much they respect them, and how they cannot do their jobs alone, that they really need families to be engaged with them. And the way to sustain that engagement, again, is by letting families know how much you care about their input, how much you care about them as human beings. You have to establish that relationship of trust. And again, the best way to do that is by letting families know, we see you as your child's first teacher. And we cannot be the best educators that we intend to be without you, without your input, without your guidance, without your advice about your child or your children. You have to see families as essential partners. And when you do that, and they know you are sincere about that, then your families will be engaged, they will stay engaged, and they will enjoy that partnership with you as much as you will enjoy that partnership with them.